Let's talk about Hublot. Now Hublot is definitely not for everyone. I get that, but you know what? So does Hublot. Well, fortunately, there is plenty of room for many players in this watch world of ours. It's huge, the playing field's massive. And Hublot happened to be one of those big players out there, which I think is a good thing. Hublot have a tagline, which is called the art of fusion. Now, one of the things this is referring to is the many, many approaches and materials that Hublot experiment and play with when coming up with these incredible creations. Now, the other meaning which I have attributed to the art of fusion is almost there are no rules. And it almost seems like this is one of Hublot's maybe secret little taglines. They don't seem to have rules. Every single time I go in and I shoot Hublot watches, I am always surprised by what is placed in front of me. But you know what? Whilst these watches have been incredibly interesting to me, Nothing has ever really pushed my button in such a way that I would think that one day I would own one of these Hublots until this year. But in the interest of cracking on with the purpose of this video, which is why you clicked on that thumbnail, let's get into the list of some of the hottest picks from 2023. And let's see if you can pick the watch that hit me square on target. Okay, let's make our way to the first hole and tee off like in Happy Gilmore. I loved that film. Now, if you're an avid golf fan and have fallen in love with mechanical mechanisms, then this is a ripper for the wrist. Woo, this is the Big Bang Golf Sky Blue Carbon, and it is nothing short of a sporting apparatus marvel. It's uh, 45 millimeters in diameter and it's 18.2 millimeters thick and it's made of carbon fiber and texalium. But the main party trick is that it's got a skeletonized dial which shows off the indicators for your hole, shot and score. And it does not require any batteries. No other golf watch looks quite like this. The layers of the high-tech materials showcase an intricate combination of carbon, fiberglass, and aluminium, rendering the entire watch surprisingly lightweight, and it comes in at under 100 grams despite its size. It's pretty impressive. Now, with all the unique shapes that Hublot has experimented with over the years, it surprised me to be reminded that the square bang was actually the brand's first square watch. Now this was introduced at Watches and Wonders in 2022 and the square bang waited a year to get the full sapphire case treatment, including the case and the dial. Now housing a flyback chronograph movement, the sapphire case construction, it allows Hublot to show off as much of the industrial decorated caliber as possible, with my favorite being the dial side column wheel. And just be wary of that strange feeling of being able to look at your wrist while wearing a watch, unless you got fabulous wrist game just like me. Now watches from the Hublot MP collection are the most technologically advanced pieces the brand offers. Now just think back to the ridiculous MP05 LeFerrari and its 50 day power reserve. But the MP13 is a little bit more conventional than that though it doesn't mean that it skimps on complication or its unique shape. For starters, the sapphire crystal actually flows into a squared off section at six o'clock to allow a better view into the intricacy of the dual axis tourbillon. Now to top this all off, there's a dual retrograde time display spanning the top of the dial, meaning that the hands never obstruct the tourbillon cage. And as if a $200,000 bi-axis tourbillon wasn't crazy enough, why don't we just look at something really bananas? Ever since I saw Chanel's J12 X-Ray and its world first sapphire bracelet, I knew that it was only a matter of time before Hublot presented their own take on it. Well, the brand started with the fully clear integrated tourbillon full sapphire in 2021. And just two years later, we landed on its full blue sibling. Now, contrasting against the pastel blue is the monochromatic HUB6035, Hublot's micro-rotor equipped tourbillon movement. 
The oscillating weight and the tourbillon cage sit on opposing ends of the case, offering some really pleasant symmetry. And their simple finish doesn't take away from the main attraction. Now say what you want about Hublot, but you cannot deny the cool factor of a blue tinted sapphire cased and braceleted micro rotor tourbillon. That's the whole package. But considering that three of the five watches on this list retail for six figures and up, the classic Fusion Chronograph Orlinski is where I start to pay attention for the price alone. Well, the faceted titanium case is just breathtakingly different. Those muted tones of the lightweight metal aren't over blingy. They're just soft under the light, especially with their mostly microblasted finish and with just the right amount of highlights for the pushes and the bezel screws. Now this comes on rubber or on a bracelet. Of the two models though, it almost feels like a sin to not pick up the full titanium bracelet as the watch feels like a piece of art. And if you just got it on rubber, it's almost like it would be missing its frame. Hmm. Now, thanks to the Dubois de Praz module equipped ETA chrono caliber inside, it's also reasonably thin at only 12 millimeters. Now, yeah, this is the watch that I picked. And many of you would have seen me pick this as my favorite watch at Watches and Wonders in 2023. And come with me on this little visual journey. If a watch could be a Tesla Cybertruck, I reckon this would be it. This would be the perfect kicker if you were taking delivery of one of those bad boys pretty soon. But hot damn, it's limited to only 500 pieces. So you better get in on this one quick. Seriously, if I had the spare coin, I would pull that trigger and I would pull it fast on this number. Hey, if you have enjoyed this video and you'd love to see more videos kind of like it, well, the best thing that you can do is you can hit that subscribe button. Now that subscribe button, that click costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us and it makes a massive difference to the ideas that are in this head and what will end up on screen and with you watching. So please, if you have not subscribed to the channel, give it a click, it's gonna be good. But hey, what did you think of these Hublot drops that we picked? And more importantly, what did you think of my pick? <laughs> or do you think I need to go back to art school? Let me know in the comments.